Welcome to For the Love of Books, a podcast by North Lancashire Libraries. Hi everyone, welcome back to the North Lancashire Libraries podcast For the Love of Books. My name is Chris Wilson, the e-services librarian, and today I've got very exciting stuff to tell you about because after a very, very long time, that due to circumstances out with our control, we are finally ready to bring Steps Library back to the Steps Library, the Steps area, and it will be reopening on Monday the 15th of July this year. And it's very, very exciting for us because it's the final library after the whole COVID shutdown to finally get reopened. And we are now back up to our full complement of all our libraries And that is just fantastic news for everybody who loves libraries. And it is fantastic to have finally get to this point to have all the libraries back open and let the people in Steps have a permanent place to come and use the library service. I was lucky enough to get a little bit of sneak preview of the library before it, got, before it opened on Monday and I come, went along to have a wee look about it and have and I, will, I think everyone who does come along to use the library will really, really enjoy this, the space that has been created. It's a kind of purpose-built space that's been added to the side of where it previously was. Um, and so the, so the location is pretty much the same. You won't, you can't miss it when you go there. It is very much kind of front and center once you get to the steps library address. And you can go in and all the usual stuff is all there. When you go in, the desk is to your right hand side. And when you, you've also got some toilet facilities in there as well, you've got all the kind of library books are now on the shelf due to all the hard work from the, the Steps Library staff who are absolutely eager to get the place up and running and getting the use, the use of the service back there in Steps as well. To the left hand side, that is where you will find the kids library and also the computer sections as well as a little bit further along. The staff have been hard at work to create a fantastic new space for everyone who wants to use library service and steps. And I think that everyone is going to really enjoy the being able to come along and once again have a permanent place to come along to use the library service. It's such a great thing to be able to bring that back after such a long time. And it's such an amazing uh, thing to be able to bring that announcement to the podcast and let you guys all know that Steps is back, which is fantastic. So it will be reopening on Monday the 15th of July, as I say, and it'll be reopening with its previous opening hours, which were Monday to Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Thursday, 2 p.m. till 7 p.m., Friday, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m., and Saturday, 10 a.m. till 1 p.m. So there's lots and lots of opportunities to come along and use such a great facility for um, the local area. From a librarian point of view, it was really, really good to go along and just kind of be in a new library space, you know, being a librarian, I get a bit excited about libraries when I do go on holidays and things like that. I do kind of try and see if if I can spot a library. I do try and pop in to kind of have a wee look about it just because, you know, we are that kind of obsessed about libraries when you work in them. So it was great to have a new space in North Latcher to go and have a look at right on the doorstep to go and see. And I think that It'll be a, a brilliant facility for everyone. Outside, the outside the, when you're kind of sitting there, there's a there's bench just outside. Um, there's a little tree outside the front of it as well. It's kind of a nice little go walk in space to go into, and you'll be able to see a lot of the, these features on a little video that we put together, which will be released on Monday on our social media. So you can kind of check that out if you want to get a little bit of a sneak peek as to what the inside of the library actually looks like as well. It's great that we've got kind of so much kind of new stock going in to the library um, as well as 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 well as some of the old stock that we had had in, we've had in storage all this time, um, and kind of combining those together to kind of have a new bit of a mix of new stock and old stock and stuff like that, and the, everything is there that you want you would want. There's, like I say, there's the computers that are there for anyone who requires PC access in the steps area. And they can come along, use their library membership to get on and have access to the print printing facilities, which will be up and running. Um, and 
also kind of access just to kind of use it, can send emails, whatever, and do your online shopping, all that kind of stuff on the four computers that are in the library and ready and waiting for you. The children's area has a lovely little space. Um, it's got a nice kind of little kind of multicolored carpet with um, numbers round about it, um, various different kind of sea animals and things like that on all, all round about the, car- the carpet area and with a bunch of kind of kinder boxes full of all the picture books, which I'm a big fan of kind of picture books. I think picture books. I think picture books are some of the best books that you can find in the library because there's so much work has went into them. Um, well, there's not very much, lots of work has went into a traditional book, but I just do love the kind of the artwork um, uh, that goes along with a picture book. Um, and even as an adult, it is also nice to kind of have a wee browse about the, the picture books in there. There's um, the, the teen sections around the corner a little bit. Um, you've got all the kind of kids' books on the shelves surrounding the, the children's area. And um, over at the other side, um, you've got all the kind of adult fiction books and things like that sort of stuff. It's a fantastic little facility. And I think everybody who goes along to see it will absolutely love it. And we want to know what you think about it as well. So do honour, um, once you have had a little bit of visit to it, let us know what you think um, of our new space on our social media posts about the Steps Library announcements of reopening. It's very exciting for us to have a new space open and we hope that you are very excited about having a new space to come along to in our library service as well. It really is a special thing for us to finally be taking steps forward. Do you see what I did there? Um, to be having the library service back open in the steps area and we cannot wait to open the doors for you guys on Monday. And other library news, we have got lots and lots of folks signed up to do the Great Bookish Menu. If you haven't found out what the Great Bookish Menu is, do check back some of the previous podcasts. Uh, it's the Adult Summer Reading Challenge for you guys to take part in throughout the summer. So do sign up for that, um, especially the people in Steps who ha- are going to now have this new permanent home for your library service. Um, it would be great to have so many of you guys sign up to take part in the, the Great Bookish Menu. Um, and check out the six genres for that to see if there's any books in there that you can take part in and enjoy over the summer months. Of course, it is the Summer Reading Challenge, so do uh, for uh, for kids as well, so do make sure you get your kids signed up. We hope you're having a great summer so far um, with the school holidays, and although it has been a bit of a, a washout so far weather-wise, that does mean there's lots of time indoors to do some fantastic reading, so to get them signed up to the Summer Reading Challenge and get them reading through the summer and hopefully they will get their medal and certificate at the end of summer. And one of the great events that we do have, which um, is very, very popular, is News Tricks at Airdrie Library and they are holding a summer special um, in, on the 16th of July, which uh, is going to be at half past one. And they're going to be holding a New Tricks summer special, which is going to be a movie screening followed by an indoor summer picnic themed tea um, which is so the same for adults, it is an, an adult event, and we have got around about 10 spaces left for that event. So, do get yourself um, signed up for that event if you fancy coming along to it and enjoy a very unique experience within some of our libraries, for, which is a fantastic, great event that, to take part in. And with it being summertime, I would like to try and resurrect a little bit of a social media thing that we did a few years ago. I am planning on trying to do this and hopefully it will take off a little bit. But I don't know if we need a little bit of participation with you guys to kind of make it a real success. So what I would like to do is bring back our hashtag that we used, hashtag library cards on tour. And basically when you're on holiday, take your library card with you and take a fancy photo with your library card on holiday somewhere and nice so that you can see all the places that North Rancher Library's card visits over the summer holidays. Um, whether that's a kind of staycation at home somewhere or whether it's further afield, further abroad, let's see the most exciting places that we can see a North Rancher Library's card somewhere during the summer holidays. That would be really good to see it. Uh, venture as far as possible or even kind of as local as possible as well if you're just doing a kind of some a, a local thing as well any kind of interesting picture with your library card over summer get on twitter or x or whatever you want to call it these days use the hashtag 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 library cards on tour and see where we can get the north Atlantic library card this summer 
This will be my last podcast for a little while. I'm going to take a short break for the summer. Um, and uh, But I do believe that be the Bees Books editions um, with Jenny and Parry will be continuing. And Andrew and Kirkland, I think, are still hoping to do their... Um, that didn't happen in the books episodes as well throughout um, keep and continue kind of once a month kind of doing those things. So there is still plenty to kind of look out for on the podcast, um, even though I'm kind of disappearing for a little kind of short break. But I will be back, don't worry. And we will be back again very, very soon with more episodes. But do watch out for the Beast Books ones coming every two weeks for you until we start doing a weekly one again. That's all for now, guys. Bye for now.